Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable snowman deco mesh wreath with items from the dollar store. What you will need, I have a wreath ring, 14 inches. This adorable little snowman sign that says let it snow. Red, white, and black deco mesh, two rolls of each. It's good to have extra on hand though, just in case. Some Chanel stems, I'm just going with white. Black and red ribbon, both 7 8 inches in width. I have some adorable ornaments, glitter ornaments, floral wire, scissors, and a hot glue gun. You can add anything, any additional embellishments you'd like. If you want to put like little snowmen all over or if you want bows or candy canes, whatever you want. Just have fun with it and make it your own. Let's get started. All right, so I've cut the black, white, and red deco mesh into 8-inch long pieces. I have also cut my black ribbon and my red glitter ribbon into seven inch long pieces and I've cut my Chanel stems in half. So first thing I like to do is make all of my bundles. What I'm going to do is take a red, white, and black piece. I'm going to curl it at a diagonal and you can definitely make the cute little curl if you if you choose to do so. But I'm just curling all the pieces at a diagonal and I'm crisscrossing them and I'll take my red glitter ribbon and scrunch it and then twist the Chanel stem around just like that I like to mix up the bundles so that I don't have the exact same colors on top and again I have two color two different color ribbons so I'm gonna mix that up as well So you see these two look completely different. I'm going to make all of my bundles, alternating the colors and the ribbon and everything. And then when I'm done, I'll place them on my ring. Some of the bundles, I'm not gonna place any ribbon. It's just gonna be a, a, a plain bundle. So I have some without ribbon, some with the black ribbon, and with the red ribbon. And I've alternated the different color deco mesh at the same time. Now I'm going to get all of my bundles together and we can start placing them on the ring. I'm just going to mix it all up. You can use whatever colors or color combination or ribbon that you choose. And just have fun with it. Now it's time to finally place the bundles on our ring. Alright, so what I'm going to do, take my bundle and place it on the inner two rings. Just like that. And I'm going to twist it. And then tuck it away. Just like that. And I'm going to take the red glitter bundle. Place it on the inner two rings. Twist it. And tuck it away. And the more bundles you get placed, the more you'll be able to like maneuver it. And then you see I try to alternate ribbon no ribbon and then I also try to alternate the colors so the first bundle has red on top the next one has white on top with ribbon and this one has black on top with no ribbon I just think that makes it look even cuter and more fun I'm going to go with six bundles in each section but again if you love ribbon and you want to place it on every single bundle then I say go for it just have fun with it so I'm going to get all of these placed all the way around my wreath. So this is what one section looks like. Six bundles. You can have more if you'd like, but I think six is a pretty good amount, especially once you get them all placed. There it is. You can add more ribbon if you'd like. I just went with like every other stem. I did red glitter, no ribbon. Black, no ribbon. Red glitter, no ribbon. And this is what the back looks like. 
So I used three pieces of deco mesh in each bundle and six bundles in each of my six sections for a total of 36 bundles. So this will make an adorable wreath by itself, but we have this adorable sign, so we are going to place it in the center. First thing we're going to do is cut off. We don't need the little ribbon hanger. Gonna take two Chanel stems and twist them together to make one long Chanel stem. I like to use two because one barely makes it. I just like to have a little extra Chanel stem to work with to make sure it's really nice and secure. So that's why I twist two of them together. That's longer than just say one stem. And do the same for the top. So we will turn our sign over, place one at the bottom and one towards the top. And we're just going to hot glue these in place. So that's what it's looking like. And now we are ready to attach it to our wreath. I like to kind of push the mesh out of the way slightly looking for the ring so I can attach it to it. I'm gonna have the face more so in the center and the hat going upwards but you can take it downward a little bit if you want the entire sign in the in the center. So just move everything over, find your stem and we're just going to come around to the back like this and I'm just like twisting, twisting it around my wreath ring. I like to make sure my mesh is shaped around my center. I don't want it hidden behind it, so I like to fluff it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to attach the top to my stem as well. That's what it's looking like. Again, you could stop right here because this does look so cute and precious. But don't forget we have our ornaments. And let's see. I'll probably just like place them randomly throughout the wreath. I like to kind of place them first so I'll know how many I need and where exactly I want them to be. So you have two options. You can either just like hot glue the ornaments in place or you can take some floral wire thread it through or even ribbon honestly twist it a couple of times and then just attach it I'm going to attach it on top of a bundle because I don't want it to get lost in the wreath so I pulled it through to the back and then I'm just going to twist it just like that and tuck it away so cute precious so I'm going to do this for all of my ornaments and then we will be done. So this is what it's looking like. So cute. You can just have fun with it and make it your own. You can add more ornaments. You can add candy canes, peppermints, any other decor. Definitely uh, snowflakes. Whatever you'd like. Just play around with it. Have fun and make it your own. All items were purchased at Dollar Tree.